So this is the Charkha of Gandhi and the father of the nation. And this is a very old uh, Indian doorway. And uh, the door is our most famous point. That is the argument. And this escalation is helping uh, Mr. Modi uh, with the... So as I had mentioned, India and Turkey have bilateral agreements. You know, Shimla, Lahore are agreements under which uh, India and Pakistan have decided that they will resolve matters bilaterally. Uh, Turkey, of course, is a great friend of both India and Pakistan. Uh, Turkey is also a country that has herself <coughs> experienced cross-border terrorism. Yeah. So Turkey understands the pain that the people of India must be feeling when it faces cross-border terrorism. And we expect uh, that Turkey will play its due role in urging Pakistan to stop cross-border terrorism and dismantling the infrastructure of terrorism that it has on its, uh, on its soil. Turkey has done so at the, uh, at the international organizations, at the UN, at the uh, FATF, which I mentioned, and uh, it can do so bilaterally. India is known as the land of peace. Uh, we are the land from where uh, Buddha and Gandhi have come. Uh, so, we are also a democracy. So, the people are supreme in my country. It is uh, the, the duty of every government to protect the interests of the people and also to maintain the territorial integrity and sovereignty of the nation. Uh, but we are a responsible power. I think the world need not wonder whether India will cause any confusion. So, Pakistan can learn a few lessons. Uh, Pakistan has to take action against terrorism. I think the entire global community will help Pakistan in that effort uh, to overcome this particular cancer that it has created within itself. And that will be the answer to many of the problems, not just within Pakistan, but also in the region around it. Uh, there was an aerial combat in which one Pakistani plane and one, Pakist one Indian aircraft uh, were shot down. Uh, the, both of them landed on the Pakistan-occupied side. Uh, we have seen that the Indian pilot has been in Pakistan custody. Uh, we welcome the initiative of uh, Prime Minister to release uh, the Indian pilot. That is what is expected with war combatants. Uh, that is what the Geneva Convention uh, provides for, and we are pleased that the Pakistan side is abiding by its international commitments on this count. We would urge the Pakistan side to abide by its international commitments to rein in terrorists, to stop terrorism from its soil and from areas under its occupation, and to dismantle the infrastructure of terrorism. Right. I, I would just like to say that um, uh, we very much appreciate uh, the support that we have received from the Turkish side. Uh, in the condemnation that they had made of the uh, heinous terrorist attack on the 14th of February. Uh, we also are uh, um, on the same page because both India and Turkey have faced instances of uh, cross-border terrorism and therefore we understand the pain that comes because of cross-border terrorism. And we thank Turkey for its steadfast support in international organizations in calling upon Pakistan to implement its commitments in taking out terrorism from its soil, as it has done in the UN and FATF. And we are sure that uh, Turkey will continue to play a very positive role in eliminating terrorism from Pakistan. It will be a great contribution to peace and stability.